this phone call and go out and get some sun rays. Absolutely. Okay. 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 Anyway, this call is about contributing to the conversation. Yes, sir. And I have two questions. I'll try to get through this really quick. This is yes, my sir. commentary on what's going on. Which the part? Model, uh, commentary on what? The, uh, medical, um, the medical model. The medical yeah. model is a conspiracy through eco-science and eugenics for the calling of all people to be trapped in the allopathic medical model. That's the purpose of what's going on. And population control? Is that what I'm hearing you say? Population control. What we call it the sickening of people, the conspiracy to keep people attached to the medical model for financial okay. gain, All right. et cetera. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you on that necessarily. But who's yeah. responsible for that? Well, you really want to know? <laughs> no. I'm, I do know. Who's, I do know. Okay. No, I do know. Who's res- okay. I don't mean who's responsible for the medical model. Who's responsible for the impact of the medical model? It's not the well, medical the model. It's us. Well, it's yes, us. Yes. Remember it's Pogo? Did you ever see yeah. Pogo? Did you ever read Pogo, Carl? No, I don't car- think so, but I think I've He was cartoon. He oh, said yeah, Pogo, was, yeah. Pogo was a cartoon. That's not right. been written anymore. He had a famous quote. I have seen the enemy, and he is us. Uh, yes, he right. is us. Right. I've seen right. the enemy, and he is us. And we're well. complicit. So, yes, it's true. The medical model and the powers that be, whatever that means, yeah. are interested in, like you say, eugenics and population control and all of that. Right. But ultimately, we have a responsibility here. And that's what this is really all about. It doesn't do us any good to rail against the pharmacomedical model, in my opinion. But go ahead. I didn't mean well, to Well, it, it's the ignorance. It's, ign- it's the ignorance of the population is what it is. And you're there to break that. Dr. Wallach is there to do that. Peter Glidden's doing that. Corey Gold and many other great doctors out there are trying to do that with their radio programs. Yes. Rather to waking the people up. Yes. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's my commentary. That's my contribution to Thank you, Carl. Show today. Right now, I have two questions. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Sucralose, yes. one. Let's yes. talk for a minute about sucralose, and I have a second question. Sucralose, me, what, what, is, sucralose is fake sugar. You don't need fake sugar. If you're going to do sugar, do sugar. Fake sugar has to be processed by the body as a toxin. Now, they do studies, and they'll tell you it's, they know it's safe, blah, blah, blah. But the fact is, is it's safe given the body's ability to detoxify. It's not safe given the body's ability or given the lack of the body's ability to detoxify because it's overwhelmed. And this is what's missed whenever they do studies on the safety of chemicals and the safety of food additives and the safety of GMOs and the safety of all the crap they're feeding us. This is what's missed. And the safety of drugs, by the way. If you have a compromised ability to clean the thing out, to clean the drugs out or the sucralose out or whatever it is, then it's not safe. And most of us are, are compromised in that way. So if you're going to do sugar, just do sugar. It's hard to say. It's, and I get this question a lot. It's six of one, half dozen of the other. What you really want to do is resensitize your body to sweet taste. So it doesn't take as much sweetness. You don't need as big a hit of sweetness in order to, in order to get that pleasure, that dopamine. And it, really, it's neurotransmitters in the brain. We're hooked on sugar because we get a, a hit of pleasure. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, a brain chemical that's responsible for pleasure and boom you eat sugar dopamine goes up and you get pleasure reward it's a special kind of pleasure from sugar it's called reward it's like you've been rewarded like we get us can you imagine this you know how good we feel when we win the lottery we win a prize that's neurochemical that's neurochemical that's dopamine hitting a part of your brain that's called the reward center that makes you go yippy skippy I won and this is what happens yesterday. The Broncos won here in Denver. And there were riots in the street. Talk about dopamine. Oh, my God. There was so much pleasure associated with the team winning. It's the same idea. We seek sugar. We seek pleasure. We seek reward. We're reward-seeking machines. And sucralose hits that reward center as much as sugar. And what we want to do is not so much beat up on sucralose or sugar, for that matter, but resensitize ourselves to the sweetness, to the sweet taste, so we feel a reward at a lower threshold and that's done by caloric restriction that's done by restricting uh, by uh, intake of sweet sweet foods here's a trick for you if you're hooked on sugar or you're hooked on sweet foods or you're hooked on bread do this okay indulge have your bread but or whatever it is pasta pie potatoes whatever you like you know but eat it and then stop about halfway through all right and then give your chemistry a chance to catch up, and you'll notice in 20 minutes you forgot all about it because the chemistry has caught up with your stomach. The biochemistry of satisfaction has caught up with the food in your stomach. When we eat really fast, we don't give it a chance to catch up, and then we don't know we ate too much until it's too late, a half hour after we finished our meal. Hey, Carl, I, I got I to gotta motivate. Can you call back tomorrow, bro? I want to get to this one last call here. I got to... One last yeah, call, I'll okay? Give you, I'll give you the next question tomorrow. 
Okay, good deal. Good to talk to you, Carl. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Jasmine, I just hung up on you. Call back, Jasmine. I apologize. I hit the wrong button. So, Jasmine, call back. I'll get you up here. David in Texas, what's going on, man? Yeah, hey, good morning, Dan. This is David. I'm talking to you hey. I've got Graves. And, hey, David. Um, anyway, i um, got a question for you. Yeah? Um, last week, um, a coworker of mine had a mild stroke at, at work. I actually, He actually came out, asked for my help. I called 911 and got him to the hospital. Um, however, he, he's back to work and, um, you know, kind of was explaining the, the regimen that he's been uh, put on. And For a stroke, you're talking? Talk to, for, yeah, he had a mild stroke. I am a distributor of the MGFD product. Nice. Here, and, get him on the... Uh, uh, let me give you the quick answer because we're going to run out of time here, okay? Uh, Healthy yeah, start yeah. pack right away. This is for anybody dealing with a cardiovascular issue, with a stroke issue. Uh, it's the same. You know, you're just going to hear me repeating myself. Make sure uh, you're using the Healthy Start Pack. That goes without saying. You want to keep the blood clean, as clean as you can. That means correct any digestive issues, do a food diary, eliminate problem foods. Fucoid Z, by the way, is seaweed. It's a fucoidin, uh, b- brown algae, is a wonderful way to clean the blood. It's a wonderful way to thin the blood. Get them on the Fucoid Z. I like it better than the Z radical. Use three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night, nine a day, and nine a day on the on the nightly essence also. Use the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach as well as with meals. Ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach will thin the blood. With meals, of course, it'll help you digest your food. Get to the health food store, get vitamin E, 400 IU a day. David, I'm going to I'm going to uh, hop I'm going to cut you off here. Listen, can you listen on the radio, David? Absolutely will. Okay, good to talk to you, ma'am. Hey Jasmine. Got Jasmine here, I think. Oh, yes, Jasmine. Amen. Okay. So you wanted to talk about a stroke too, didn't you? Importantly, what actually dissolves the clots in my brain? Because that's where my problem is. It's really ultimate heavy. enzymes, digestive enzymes is what you want to use, ultimate. and stay away and, from problem foods. Jasmine, I'm going to go. I want to before I have go, an MRI. I, you know, you're going to have to call back because we're just out of time here. I want to get a couple more things for David that I promised. Uh, chela- and Jasmine, for you too. Chelation therapy. Chelation therapy. You can do it at, a, at a, a naturopath or chiropractors where they do it IV, or you can do it orally by using chelating agents, including seaweed, NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine, selenium, vitamin C, stupendous chelating agent, not to mention bentonite clay, and also uh, zeolite. And that's all the time we have for today. I apologize, you guys. Call back tomorrow. 303, uh, sorry, 8 Four two three six sixty ten. Have yourselves a spectacular, beautiful, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.